Hey everyone, uh, in this segment I want to showcase our Gemisert cannabis uh, profile device. Uh, this, this is a very lightweight, simple, portable des device that is used to analyze the cannabinoid content of your cannabis flower. So it, uh, it, it, ha it requires an app hooked to a phone or a tablet and the first step in this is to put in your the variety uh, the strain name you can also put in other variables none of that is required um, the particular uh, flower I'm going to test is a mimosa flower this is uh, something we grew for um, the California uh, recreational market and I've already have a official California COA test on this flower, so that's one of the reasons I'm testing this one is to show exactly how close this gemisir is to the uh, official lab test from the state. So I, we put in a mimosa here just as a name to make this simple, and you hit calibrate. So the calibration process takes about a minute. Uh, it depends though, it does have to warm up, so if it's a cold unit, then it can take up to maybe 15 or 20 minutes to warm up, but once it's warmed up, it's about uh, 60 seconds for the calibration. So what you do is you take your flower and you insert it on this needle here, which is attached to a magnetic device, um, and then you simply open this little drawer and place your the magnet on the uh, the little magnetic receptacle you, uh, you carefully close the door you go back into the app and you press analyze and you, it has an option to take a photo of the flower and it goes into the analysis mode the analysis mode takes a couple of minutes to complete. Uh, overall time with uh, loading, unloading, and calibration is about five or six minutes per sample. So while uh, it's running, I just wanted to go over a few things about this unit. Um, we we uh, tend to use this in our breeding program. Um, it, it really helps pinpoint potency of strains, uh, especially when we have a lot of different phenotypes that we're running. Um, of course, potency isn't everything, but it is a big part of the puzzle. So, uh, with, and, and one of the, the most useful things for this device is, the, is for CBD. So, um, when you're trying to, to grow or to, to, to breed a CBD strain that is either really high CBD, low THC, or a 50-50 blend, it's, it's, it's basically impossible to to know what you're working with unless you are doing tests and of course laboratory tests can be pretty expensive and even if they're only $25 a piece which is about as low as I've seen it adds up quickly when you have a whole lot of them to do so this device you basically spend five six minutes and you can get a very very accurate number and we're really happy with the results we've been getting from this and they tend to compare very closely to what the laboratories are giving us so a couple things to mention is uh, this device does require internet access, uh, so wherever you are using it, it has to be connected to the internet. Uh, the device itself doesn't connect to the internet, but the phone uh, th that you're using does. So it, it can actually be through, through a cellular phone service as well. Um, it only runs flower, so you can't, uh, at this point, it doesn't have an option to run concentrates or shake. However, uh, they do have plans for that in the near future. So after the testing is complete, you open up the app and it, uh, it, as you go to the, uh, the button that says results, and then it asks you to remove the sample to view the results. So you simply take it out, you pull the little pin and pedestal off of the magnetic device, um, you shut the drawer, and you hit OK. And you hit results again. Now, uh, this is the second time I've done this test. This one is uh, reporting a 23.7% total THC, less than 0.3% total CBD. Um, so the results uh, came back at 23.7% uh, 
THC less than 0.3% total CBD. Now these are very close to what the California certified laboratory uh, results came back at which were 22.9% uh, THC and 0.528% CBD. Now I want to add that I have done many repeatability tests with this uh, device and found it to be extremely repeatable. So uh, th this same flower I tested just previously it was almost identical results. So uh, overall we're really happy with the Gemisert. Um, it's, uh, they're constantly working on the firmware and updating it and it has been improving since we first purchased it. But it is a great tool in our arsenal for, uh, for both uh, flower production and breeding. Please feel free to reach out to us uh, if you have any questions about this device or uh, any other questions. We love hearing from fellow cannabis enthusiasts and we look forward to doing the next uh, video for you guys. Please follow our YouTube channel and check us out on Instagram and our website. Take care, everyone.